Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be back. Uh, I know. I, I, there's so much I want to talk to you about. First of all, congrats on the bridge right here. Thank Your EP you. is out now. <laughs> why did you? Uh, why the title, The Bridge? Um, I wrote these two songs, The Tree and Get the Hell Out of Here, and I just felt like I was leaving some things in country music behind that didn't really like serve me anymore, and so it felt like calling it The Bridge uh, felt like just the step to the next thing, whatever no. that is. Uh, but what, what, um, was, yeah. what was the, the, the headline about, by the way, if you don't mind uh, talking about it? There, there was uh, some headlines like, Mary Morris is leaving country music, and I go, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think it's something you can really leave because it's it's in it's you. a music that's in me and that's what I grew up doing. It's the music I write. Even if I've been sort of genre fluid my whole career, um, you can't like scrub the country music out. No, so you can't. it was very like hyperbolic, but you know, headlines are different from the things you actually say. So you're not say. leaving country music? No, no, no. I'm, I'm taking like the good parts with me and all yeah. are welcome. But yeah, I just, there were some, you know, facets of it that I didn't really like jive with Agree anymore. With. Yeah, yeah, so um, no, I'm, I'm a lot happier good for you. now. And yeah. I love proud. these, uh, both of these songs. Uh, the tree, these are by different producers, right? One's mm -hmm. Jack Antonoff. One's Greg Kirsten, one's Jack Antonoff, yeah. Uh, they're fantastic. And tonight you're doing the tree? I'm doing the tree, yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> last night you performed at uh, Bowery Bar? Bar? Yeah, I'm like kind of hungover right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But, but I could, at least you enjoyed yourself and you're honest, yeah, okay, good. Uh, but, but how was it? It was obviously great. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah, good. Oh, Fantastic, yeah. good. No, it was great. I'm glad. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, no, it was just, we're doing these fan club shows in major cities where uh, we just do these small clubs. And I did my first Bowery show back in 2017. So revisiting it last night felt kind of like coming home. But they're super intimate. And we do all like the deep cut songs that the like hardcore fans love. Do you like doing the smaller shows as well as the giant shows? Like the, the same or more? doing the smaller ones. I feel like last night was one of my favorite shows of all time just because, I don't know, it just felt so free and we're not like married to a set list. We're being a lot more like relaxed with it. So I was like, can we do one of these once a month just to yeah. feel like- And tonight's, to tonight's show is even more intimate. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Taking it down to yeah. this beautiful studio. Because obviously you know how to play, uh, you're doing giant arena shows. Here's you with Taylor Swift on the Eras Tour in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you do it all. Uh, how long have you known uh, Taylor? Um, we met, I think it was on her Reputation Tour. She was kind enough to ask me to come out and sing my song, The Middle, with her. And um, we were in Arlington, Texas at the Cowboy Stadium, which is like where I'm from. So she was nice enough to like give me that date. And um, so we met then. And then she's just been like so supportive of me and my career over the years. And I also, I mean, we're the same age, but looking up to her just since I was a teenager and watching her navigate her country music to pop career so gracefully and just the way she treats her fans is so kind and generous. She's and kind of doing it all Yeah, right, she's right setting a, a high bar. And so actually like there was um, these signs on the inside of the barricades of her stadium shows. And it's like, it says basically to the local security, like fan friendly show, be kind. Yeah. So even to the like local security, like her team saying like, don't, you know, mess with the fans. Like they're here to have fun and I everyone's really time. respectful. And I was like, oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah she doesn't she's stop. It, I, I just saw you uh, posted, it's a 10 year anniversary of you moving to Nashville yeah. to start your music career. Mm -hmm. And you have an awesome photo of you and your mom. Yeah, my mom's here actually tonight. Wait, where's, where's mom, Where where's Kelly? She? She's in the... There's, Ke there's Kelly, hi Kelly! Mom! <laughs> mom, you have to be very proud. Did you, did you always, did you always know that she was gonna make it? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know it. See, you need a supportive mom, yeah. yeah. But I mean, to just go out there and you got your U-Haul truck. Yeah. You know, I was, when I, my senior prom, I took a U-Haul truck to the prom. Hot. Pretty cool, yeah, I converted the back. Did you Like. Of course I had a date, what are you talking about? Did I have a date? No, yes. Yeah, I had a dry, I had a date. We we converted the back to like a cool kind of apartment thing. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I wasn't. No, 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 no. It's not creepy. No, I went with a bunch of couples, like three other. Okay. We're... No, no, no. I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't. Do... No, no. No, it was... we're kids. 
We're kids, we're hanging out, and we're just, we're having a, a, a high school fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a driver, no one, you know, it was all, yeah. anyway. Anyway, uh, yes, I went, anyway. Okay, all right, well. Okay. Well, <laughs> did you have fun at prom? <laughs> Turning this on me no, now. No, you're not, not yeah. at all. Uh, can I talk about this, by the way, to yes, make a pivot? Oh goodness, yeah. You wrote a children's book. I did. It's not out yet. Um, uh, yeah. This is out April 9th. Uh, yeah, it's a spring release, so April 9th it'll be out, but I wrote it with my best friend Karina Argo, and um, she's on the road with me, and she's a former teacher, and we just, yeah, we want to get kids into gardening, and my son's three and a half now, so ask. I was going to say, I've read your children's book so many times to him. I could tell I you love it. love it, yeah. No, I, I love just, it. I, I, <laughs> but it is, you were just rolling your eyes as no, you were saying it. You should know, like, as a parent, like, children's books, like, if they have a favorite, you read it just... Oh. ad nauseum. Oh, yeah. And um, yours point, is incredible. We had to get rid of Goodnight Moon because I go, that's it. We have <laughs> yeah. to just get it out of the house. I read it a thousand times. Yeah, it's like it's full burnout. It's a great burnout. book. I had to get rid of it, yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah. we love yours. We have all of them. But I was just, yeah, I, I don't know. I was going to ask you, what was it like sort of, well, obviously being a parent and writing something, but also being able to give this thing back to your maybe like inner child? Um, yeah, interesting. That's I, you know I I did mine just as a total joke at first because oh, cool. I, I was yeah. like, well, I want my baby to say dada, so that's yeah. and I, I didn't care how she learned how to say dada as long as she just said it. So I would like yeah. give her a bottle of milk and I'd be like dada. Yeah. You know I didn't care if she got it wrong. You know so uh, and it didn't work. And so I wrote the book just trying to, but I did it kind of as a joke and then it, it took off and I saw kids yeah. reading it. Wait till you see that part. Okay. It's gonna blow your mind. I'll it's, cry. It's a, yes. Yeah. It's the next level of something you didn't even think was possible, and you go, kids are reading your book back to you, and it's like, oh, it's bigger than you think, and it's the most rewarding, coolest thing oh ever. Oh my god. Congratulations Thank on this. Thank you. It's gonna be great. I'm so right. uh, you're performing for us tonight with two special guests. Yeah, my really good friends Mickey Guyton and Brittany Spencer are singing with me. Yes, and, come um, on! I'm excited about this. You're performing The Tree, and this is the TV debut of the song. Yeah. Congratulations on The Bridge. Mary Morris, everyone. The Bridge is out now. Mary is performing for us after the break. Stick around. Come right back. Get ready. Hey.